Hey there, this is Izzy from Death of the Cool, and this tutorial is for intermediate guitarists. Now you've probably figured this one out already, but here's a tip. If you want to play a stretch of notes that are all the same, you can keep the fret button held down and just strum the strum bar every time you want to play that note. It's easy. Give it a whirl. See? No problem. Now anyone can play the guitar, but it takes real talent to play the crowd. Today I'm going to teach you how to harness your energy. Remember this contraption? Yeah, it's the energy meter. And it fills up whenever you nail a special glowing energy phrase. If you hit every note in a special glowing phrase like this one, the crowd will go crazy and your meter will fill up with energy. All right, your turn. Now give it a shot. Yeah, perfect. This is called a whammy bar, and it bends notes, which makes your guitar go You can rotate the whammy bar to a position that is easy for you to access while you're playing. To bend a note, push the whammy bar towards the body of the guitar. If you whammy a sustained note in one of those special glowing phrases, you'll get an even bigger energy bonus. Try whammying a sustained note. Come on, let's hear some whammy. Yeah, nice whammying. Once your energy meter is at least half full, like it is now, you're ready to kick things up by going into overdrive. To go into overdrive and use that awesome energy, just tilt the guitar neck up into the air and continue to play. You'll know it worked because the crowd will be screaming and you'll be getting lots of points. As well as extra points, the crowd will love everything you're doing. So if you were making mistakes before, cheap theatrics like this will keep you from getting kicked off stage. When the energy meter is empty, the crowd settles down, so make sure to use your energy wisely. Now for some showmanship. Tilt that guitar up in the air. Yeah, that's how it's done. If you're playing in a band and a bandmate has failed, you can use your energy to bring them back by going into overdrive. It's awesome. There's just one last thing you need to know. That's how to play a solo. Solos are your time to shine, and this solo indicator will show you how well you're playing. If you can pull off a tricky solo, you'll get a big score bonus. If you have a Fender Stratocaster guitar controller, which you should because they are the best guitar controllers ever made, you can play solos using the set of five frets near the body of the guitar. The great thing about these is that during the solo, you don't have to strum at all. Just press the fret buttons. It's pretty sweet. Excellent solo! Congratulations, you've completed the intermediate guitar tutorial. 
If you want to learn more about playing guitar, check out the freaking hard tutorial. Oh yeah. <laughs>